The genesis of the New Jersey Green Program of Study actually goes back to about 2009. Educators, workforce development entities were looking at what will it mean to prepare our future to be able to deal with the jobs that will require sustainability and green kinds of occupations. New Jersey was one of five states selected to be part of a program of study that would help prepare our students for future emerging careers in green kind of occupations. We really look at how we would connect secondary, post-secondary programs to opportunities in college, to opportunities for students to earn credentials that would be needed in these industries. Our students are earning college credit um, for coursework that they will complete while in high school in this. So this is really preparing students for both college and career. We identified three pathways that were important to New Jersey, green construction, sustainable design and architecture, and sustainable energy. We were being informed about what was needed in the current state of architecture what kinds of lead credentials were uh, required, what was the needs in terms of our utilities industry and energy. And they were really the drivers of helping to inform the curriculum, the projects that were involved in the curriculum, the skills that students would need to know and be able to do, as well as really foundationally how important the academics were in each of these respective pathways. Well, the pathway that we chose was, had to do with construction. And the reason is, is because we're a vocational school. Now under normal circumstances with construction, you would stick within a specific curriculum. But what we tried to do here was to bring, bring the green curriculum into the HVAC program because as an end user, we want them to understand what green construction is. Not just solar panels, not just wind, all right, but the whole idea of the lead system as well. They actually choose this program and it's worked out very well because they actually have an interest in what's going on and uh, they're usually much more focused than students that we had previously. This program is excellent. I love my teachers, Mr. I, Mr. Um, Labou. I get to study this at a young age that other people are taking it after high school, like in college. So everything nowadays is all green technology. Everything has to be eco-friendly, so once I get out into the field, if I know more about where the technology is heading, I think uh, in front of, pe of uh, other people who don't know what, what the technology does or how it works. We teach construction, so our pathway is uh, pretty much just sustainable construction. Between our electrical class and our building trades program, you know, sustainable construction was, was pretty much a great match for us. The opportunities that are opening up and jobs that never existed before are out there nowadays. You know, 15 years ago, there weren't a whole lot of guys repairing wind turbines, you know, 100 feet up in the air. It's pretty interesting stuff, so it's out there now. I think it's an awesome program. I think that the knowledge is practical and useful in everyday life and even as a career pursuing it. I've looked into certain numbers of colleges and uh, with the college credits offered by the course, I'm thinking about taking those college credits and transforming them into just career benefits. It's a great course, you know, just overall. Um, I get access to a whole new course material that like most kids in the school don't have. The Green Program of Study not only gives students um, skills that they need to enter the workforce as green um, collar workers, but also gives them a philosophy of life that sustainability is a direction that we can go in to solve some of our problems as in regards to energy use, uh, pollution, and equitable distribution of resources. Kids actually build wind turbines, simulated building structures, and install solar panels on them to find the right angles um, that would collect solar energy efficiently. Well, this program influenced me a lot because before I came to Polytech, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I had no motivation to go to college, or anything like that. I was kind of doing bad in my courses. But after my first year, like I, I liked it a lot. And, like my teacher was like, "Wow, like you're you're good at this." Like, and I was like, "I, I really like doing this too." So. Since then I decided, like, all right, I'm going to stick with this. Yeah. Um, we're currently putting together solar panels. We have all the um, wires, um, tapping wire soldered onto the top, so now we're um, actually wiring all the cells so they can be set in their brain. I want to go into electrical engineering or entry and energy, that sort of thing, as a career, hopefully. Okay. So I thought this would be a great thing. 
Institute going to. We're a big program that pushes in the sense of uh, vocational skills and, and, and technical skills, so the students are doing a lot of hands-on. Even in science, our labs are very hands-on activities, and, and physics just affords that even as a greater opportunity. It followed right into our construction trades program, it follows our science curriculum, it follows into any of uh, our clubs and activities that we do outside of school, which would be something as simple as uh, environmental uh, club. Sustainability is, is here, it's our future, and I think that um, there's a passion for it, and it's in within people, and all we have to do is just give them the opportunity. So get on board with it, and that's really what's going to happen. You're going you're to find people just jumping on the ship. And it's really engaging teachers, too, in a way that uh, is truly kind of applied academics. You know, uh, students are seeing projects. They are seeing why they need to learn math. They are understanding why they have to understand certain science concepts. And this is woven, you know, throughout these three pathways. So I see this as a model that we can do in other career and technical education areas as well.